The following film is rated NW. No sailor wives are allowed to watch. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what I paid and how much I spent to fix it up. Let's go. If you didn't know, boats are not an investment that'll make you money. Think of your boat as your hobby that'll cost you money. How much will a small sailboat cost? I cover this in more detail in my video about buying a sailboat, but on average, older small sailboats might be between $1,500 or $5,000. It's really tempting to buy a bigger boat that needs repair for the same money you'll spend on a smaller boat that might be a maybe in more sailing condition, but wait until you see the final cost here and realize that just a little bit larger boat has a lot of additional costs everywhere. I looked at several sailboats in the 22 foot range for under $4,000 and really found that anything less than $2,000 was too rough, not in good condition, and spending $3,000 seemed like it got me started with a boat that still needed some work but was a little bit nicer. The sailboat I bought was at a dock in the seller's backyard on a canal. I looked at it a week before the seller had to move and he had to take my offer. You can expect older boat to have general issues like leaking window seals, leaking cleats or deck hardware, needing general cleaning, the sails could be old, the wood might need to be brought back to life, engines that run but might need some work to run better rigging that you don't know the age of, lines and sheets, don't call them ropes, that should be replaced. On my sailboat, it had a running outboard from the 90s. Everything worked. The sails worked, but they were original. Um, it was in sailing condition, but the seller hadn't really been cleaning her as if he cared about it that much. So here's what I did and how much it cost. And you can find all these individual videos in the link at the end of this video. Scraped and cleaned the bottom. Tools for that were about 40 bucks. Cleaners and spray and redid the interior tables and cushions, $150. Depth finder and mount for it, 200 bucks. Now my chart plotter was $350, but you may not need this depending on where you sail, and I'm not gonna add it into the total because you can just use your phone and it's an optional thing. I just happen to have it because we have another boat that we use it on. A larger fuel tank was 60 bucks. Outboard refresh, $200. New anchors, $150. New mainsail, $500. New halyards, $75. Halyards back to the cockpit kit, $250. Jib downhaul, $50. New interior lights, $115. Boom kicker, $130. New jib cars with ball bearing blocks, $130. Power switch and fuse block, $50. Solar panel and charging system, $60. You may not need this if you charge the battery at the dock or you keep the boat at home and just charge it before each sail. Window seal kit, $85. Ropes, lines, and sheets, 50 bucks. Reef hook and rigging, $35. Lights, $95. A dinghy, $150. Registration and title, $150. So we come to a grand total of $2,725 just to fix up the boat, and I'm not done yet. I'll get to the cost of the boat in a minute. Now running costs that continue on, well, if you wanna put your sailboat in a slip at a marina, in my case, it's $20 a foot, about $440 a month, but I'm a resident of this town, so I get half price, so it's about $200 a month. Insurance, I already have boat insurance with our other boat, and adding $300,000 of liability only added $75 a year, so I'm not sure if it was on its own how much it would cost. Bottom cleaning, you can do this by yourself or pay someone to do it for 25 to 50 bucks and you can have it done bi-weekly or monthly depending on if you have bottom paint that is anti-fouling. Keeping the boat on a trailer to avoid all that is a cheaper way to go if you have a way to keep the boat at home. If you find a boat and know what it needs, see if you can find the parts before you buy it. 
The reason people like these Catalina 22s is because there's tons of parts available. Other boats might not have the same parts availability, so know that before you decide on buying a certain model. And it's not just parts, it's information about the parts and instructions for repairing things. Now, what did I pay for the boat and how much did I really spend altogether? Well, I already said that I spent $2,725 fixing it up. I paid for this boat $1,500 because like I said, this guy really had to sell it. We looked at several boats in that price range before this one that were total piles of junk. I hope this information helps you understand the cost and repair bills of a small sailboat or those of you just curious on what this boat has cost me. If you have a boat, let us know in the comments what your costs and repairs have added up to. And stay tuned for more videos on the way.